Welcome to Cyber Citadel. It's about time to look at DDoS attacks and how they can be mitigated. The five-day attack on the New Zealand exchange was inevitable. Previous multi-terabit DDoS attacks against Amazon Web Services and GitHub were ample warnings. The total number of DDoS attacks are predicted to rise to over 15 million by 2023, utilizing the tens of billions of existing IoT devices. DDoS attacks use three vectors, volumetric, network protocol, and application layer attacks. The most common volumetric attacks, like that launched against the NZX, attacks through a command and control center. Attackers use this CNC to control botnet nodes that can number into the thousands. These botnets amplify a stream of bad traffic to a victim or targeted IP address. On arrival, the bad traffic overwhelms the network system and takes it offline. DDoS CNCs can be bought for as little as $10 on the dark web. With this availability, attackers can range from professional cybercriminal groups to savvy, disgruntled employees. Just over 18 million DDoS weapons exist around the world, inflating the scope of DDoS attacks. For any company or corporation, defending against this hostile threat is an unfair fight. Cyber Citadel knows that DDoS mitigation is not impossible. Mitigation should be divided into two objectives, protecting the availability of services as well as protecting service infrastructure. Too often, defensive strategies only concentrate on protecting infrastructure, leaving services vulnerable to disruption. But by recognizing anomalous behavior, identifying zero-day attack patterns, and using threat intelligence, bad traffic can be dumped from a system before even reaching precious system infrastructure. Get in touch today to see how we can help. The risk is real. Defend with Cyber Citadel.